Today I'm taking you to my atelier. It's uh, my office in the city in Manhattan and this is where you're gonna find me if I'm not on set. I work on the consulting for my clients, on developing products, on working on face arts for some shoots. So I'm surrounded by pigments, products, art, my creative bubble and this is where I love to spend my time. So today I really want to make like a more of a sophisticated look but in new tones. So I'm going to work with Bois de Rose colors. My skin I'm going to work a little bit more intense than usual. So I'm going to use this NARS concealer that has more coverage. But still I keep it in the center of my face because I don't like to have a products like all over my skin. A bit of lip balm. And this shimmer from Dior is really great. This is really gonna fit my complexion. I love to use highlighter and powder like this with my finger because it's really gonna fusion with my skin and I'm not gonna have this feeling of metallic powder, which I don't like. And I use it like I always do on the cheekbones, Cupid's bow, chin and the corner of my eyes. The idea of my look today is Bois de Rose, so like kind of a sophisticated uh, Bois de Rose nude tones. For blush, I'm gonna have this blush palette. So I'm gonna mix these colors together. So I mix like a bit of a brown, of a pink, of an orange, and apply this on my cheeks. A bit of mascara on my eyebrows to make them a little bit more thicker and intense. Then I'm gonna work with two different eyeshadows. So the first thing is uh, this brown um, from this Dior palette that I'm gonna apply with my finger all over my eyelid to give like a dimension to my eyes and if I go a little bit too down or do a mistake I'm gonna grab this brush I use for concealer and just blend it. Then I'm having one of the eyeshadows uh, from Colourpop that I love. It's just gonna bring some light with the metallic pigments on my eyes and it's gonna push the color I'm gonna use later around uh, my lashes. And I'm gonna recover this one with um, a new tone from the Dior palette. So this is um, the Bois de Rose Bordeaux brown color that I'm gonna use along my lashes line. I'm gonna push it a little bit in the corner of my eyes and then blend in on the outside to give a sort of a cat eye shape without being too graphic. I really want something that is easy and natural, not recovering all my eyelid, but focus on the shape, like an almond shape. So I don't want to make it too vavavoom, but I still want a bit of spice in my eyes. I'm gonna curl my lashes and I'm gonna use one of my favorite mascara ever. It's from Urban Decay. I like to put a lot on the roots and then blend it because that's also gonna keep the curl all day. So for my lips, I'm really gonna go into this Bois de Rose color. So I'm gonna have this brown nude, a bit pinkish uh, lipstick. It's matte because I still want to bring you a little bit of sophistication and I don't want to be too natural. And on top of this one I'm gonna have a much brighter and beige color to plumb my lips and give like a like optical illusion that my lips are a bit more va <laughs> One thing that is important about my philosophy is that I like to use color as uh, almost like a fashion piece, like a statement. So I'm gonna have blue on my eyes or red on my lips, but I'm never gonna have both at the same time. When I wanna have a sophistication on my eyes and my lips at the same time, then I'm gonna use a color that is more neutral. My look today is pretty strong. I'm having like high boots, short leather skirt and white shirt. So it's kind of a Brigitte Bardot vibe. So I hope you like it. Uh, let me know for a natural look what would be the perfect color for you. And did you make that decision because of your hair color, your skin color, your eyes color? I'd love to know. Hi guys, we are in LA today and I'm finally filming some content in LA for my channel. I'm really excited about this. The other thing I'm really excited about is this skirt. I completely fell in love with it. I don't think I ever wore an orange, but when I saw that I was like, okay, I'm gonna start with orange, I'm gonna start with this because this is like amazing. The fabric is just incredible. So to celebrate the color mood of this outfit, I'm gonna go to this restaurant that has exactly the tones of my skirt. I came here with my friend Jamie so thank you Jamie for taking me here and find that there was like like a little piece of quiet and nice I don't know I felt more like in France suddenly even though the food has nothing to do with French <laughs> but it was nice to be there I felt like it was a little bit of a quieter 
environment, much more like a vacation mode. So that was great to come here. Today, to celebrate my skirt, I'm going to do a sun-kissed look with this sort of ombre orangey lips. So to do the sun kiss, which I really hope I had, I'm going to fake it with this Glossier Play highlighter that I love because the texture is so natural, it's going to warm up my face without looking too makeup -y. But as usual, I'm going to have pink blush because that's the condition for my makeup, <laughs> the essential of my look. I want to have more boyish eyebrows. I quite love when I have very feminine stuff around, like, I mean, not around on me, when I have feminine, like, earrings and long skirt, red lips, to me those are very feminine. Then having boyish eyebrows is kind of going to break it out a little. I always say I don't like to be 100%. You know what I mean? I like to be a bit less. So that's why stronger eyebrows is going to help me achieve that. And because I have bangs, having this like mascara gel is going to be very helpful. Now I know I use a highlighter, but I want my skin to be even more dewy. And this duo of blush and highlighter is amazing. I'm just going to use a highlighter for today because I don't want any orange blush and that's again a balance. I don't want to go 100% orange so I'm having a pink blush to break the orange out. Now we're gonna use this amazing eyeshadow that I really love because I feel like the color is like a bronzer for the eyes. Like it's not something too instinctive which I really loved and you just make it like golden, sunny and, and transparent so it's not too strong. I also adding black mascara. This mascara has a very natural result on the lashes, which is kind of what I wanted because again, I didn't want to look too girly, too feminine and have like long uh, lashes. And for lipstick, I'm gonna play with this color. So Estee Lauder lipstick are my favorite because A, the texture and the quality is the best to me and also they have amazing colors. So I'm going to start the base with this sort of like bluish red. The idea is to create like a rose petal. So I love to create several dimensions and for that I'm going to have two colors. So first I'm really really going to apply everywhere except the center. I'm not going to put too much there with this darker shade. And then I'm going to have an orange shade much lighter in the center. And to make sure these two colors are going to blend together, I kiss a napkin because I feel like this looks more worn, which I love. And to go even more in a more worn uh, philosophy, I'm going to do what I call my French kiss look. For those who know me, you know that's something I really love to do, very strong lips, and then I blur the edge to make it like I've been just kissed. Not kissed like crazy, just a little kiss that makes the lipstick a bit blurry. This is it. It's really a look I can wear on vacation every day. Hi guys! Um, okay, I'm being a bit nostalgic today because this is my last video while I was pregnant. Even though pregnancy was not my favorite phase <laughs> in my life, um, I'm still very nostalgic because now that I met this little human, uh, that I love so much. Uh, I'm, I'm just looking at this time with like a lot of nostalgia. Anyway, we are today in Brooklyn, which is really where I'm most of the time. And this is one of the places I love to go during the day. And this is the smoothie I take. I'm sorry, I forgot the name, but it has like coconut and dates. And it's so delicious. So I haven't done my makeup yet and I wanted to film it uh, before a meeting I had. It's the end of the day, so the makeup is actually much more glamorous than you could imagine. I'm going to start with the concealer, I'm going to apply it same usual zone, you know, I like to keep the skin bare and to see the skin. So I just apply it where I have shadows and blend it really well with a beauty blender. So you see my skin as much as possible, but at the same time, I'm just going to remove the darkness. Now I'm using this um, highlighter from my palette of Au Naturel, my collection with Estee Lauder. And I'm going to pat it all over the apple of my cheeks because I feel like... Depending on the light, the highlight on the apple is going to shine and it's going to really plumb and make a beautiful skin texture. I really love to do this technique. Now the inside corner of my eyes as well. And I'm going to go with a blush, with this Laura Mercier brush that I love. 
What I love with this brush is like it's really gonna shape the apple of my cheek. So I, I really, really love it. And I don't contour, but thanks to that brush, the pink of the blush is just gonna be on the shape of my apple without contouring my face. Now I'm gonna have my favorite product, which is this copper pigment. I'm gonna mix with mix and medium water base, not alcohol base, that's for sure, because it's gonna burn your eyes like crazy. Once it's mixed and you have this kind of like liquid texture, but still it's not too liquid, like the water doesn't separate with the pigment. I'm just gonna grab it with um, this sort of eyeliner brush and design like a liner that is not too thin. And with um, wipe, you can just, you know, clean the bottom of the line to make sure you have a sharp line. I like to make it a bit thick, but not too much, just because otherwise it's a bit harder to really, really see the beauty of this color. So that's why I picked a brush that is not too thin. And because it's metallic, what I love is that the eyeliner is not gonna be obvious all the time. Sometimes it's really gonna disappear. And that's the magic of copper. For my skin tone or darker skin tone than me, is that it really, really um, fuses with your skin color super, super well. I'm gonna make sure I have a few layers because I really wanna have this like gorgeous metallic liner on my eyelid. And then I'm gonna have it a little bit between my lashes in the bottom lash line of my eyes. So now to contrast with it a lot, I'm going to use this black mascara that is amazing to have really strong lashes. I lost so much of my lashes during pregnancy that I need help with the mascara to really enhance and push my lashes to the max. <laughs> and when that's done, I'm going to have my one of really my favorite lipstick ever. Quiet Riot from Estee Lauder is to me a color that is the chicest, sexiest color ever. I'm gonna be very honest with you, I've tried all the liquid lipstick ever created and to me, the SL Outer one are just the best. It doesn't dry your lips, it stays on all day. You have this beautiful velvet texture on your lips. It's really, really sh chic. What I call like a chic product, a chic texture. That's really what I think about this product. And then I'm gonna add more blush because as soon as I have this lipstick, I feel like I'm, I'm still looking a bit tired. Anyway, I love that look because it's very, very quick. And when you see it, you're scared. You're like, oh my God, I have to mix pigment. I have to use a liquid red lipstick, but it's actually really fast to do. And I know we're all scared of using pigment, but look, it's so easy, it's so wearable. Hi guys, I'm super excited for today's video because first is the first time I'm coming back after having baby and also because I'm finally shooting at the art gallery. It's been a dream of mine, but it's just very hard to make it happen. So thank you to Tilo's Fine Art to let me shoot there because this art gallery is the most beautiful gallery that I've seen in New York. Not because it has crazy art construction or whatever, but just the simplicity and it feels like home and it's quiet and the art exposed was super beautiful when I went. The first story is that what you see right now is Kim Kiver art and it's like really one of my favorite artists ever and you've seen me posting a lot of his work since a long time on my Instagram and I discovered also Edwina White so I always love to discover a new artist so I, I really had a good time. The magic of Kim's work to me is how his technique is gonna bring to life something that is simple as putting paint in the water in an aquarium and shooting it and then it looks like this incredible abstract like smoke or pigment smoke like you don't even know what that is it's just incredible so i decided to do a look inspired by this and because it's in the water those you know the, the paint is shot in the water i wanted to play with like wet texture i'm going to create like an eye look for this in honor of his work so after applying concealer i'm going to go with this highlighter that is very wet which I love because it's a summer and I love summer skin when it's a bit sweaty of course you don't want to look like you're super sweaty but just a little bit you know I think it's kind of sexy so that's why I like this highlighter and I'm going to do my lips first today because I'm really dying to try this matte nude lipstick and you know me I keep telling like for 
my olive skin and also because my lips are pretty dark naturally, finding a new lipstick is difficult and this one is like really the perfect color. I'm gonna use this pink blush and you've seen this brush before from Laura Mercier. I love it because it really, really, really like shape the apple of your cheek without contouring. It's just like a softer version of contouring. So I really love this brush and I'm gonna do the eyes. So I got this palette and I really love the tones because they're soft and not too, you know, not too bright or not too pop. And I'm gonna take this uh, brown one and with this little brush, I'm going to apply it all over my lash line and then kind of like pull it out. And then, how can I say, like, I call this the old school technique. It's like when you darken the outside corner and then you blend with your finger. So it's like trying to shape your eye like very almondy. So you kind of like work in diagonal. You apply all, all along your lash line and then you're gonna go in a diagonal shape instead of like completely following your eye shape. Does that make sense? <laughs> so it's almost like you're doing an eyeliner, but like the outside corner, like the wing, is gonna be a bit more large. And then you're gonna blend it really well with your finger. So you feel the shape, but you don't have like a color block. I'm gonna apply a little bit on the bottom eyelid as well. And then I'm gonna apply the pink blush. I love pink on the eyelid, especially with brown. I think the duo of brown and pink is the best ever. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna use then the brown that is a bit metallic to apply it on top of it. It's just to have a sort of a more, like you'll see, it's gonna prep for the gloss after. I could have stayed like this. Honestly, this look looks almost even more like the painting that the version with the gloss I'm gonna add after. But I really wanted to do something wet to honor Kim's work about putting painting in the water. But this is also a very good version of this look. You could just not do any gloss and just keep it like this. So I'm gonna now apply this lip gloss. It's been a long time that I wanted to play with this guy because of the brush that is super easy. Usually, you know, glass for eyes, the brush is too hard so it's gonna make your eyeshadow moves around and this one is very soft and the texture is not too sticky it's a bit pearly so it's really gonna bring this very wet effect on the eyes and it's really nice to wear like it's not I'm not self-conscious all day <laughs> with my eyes and I love all the colors they have so after using the pink I'm gonna use the gold one in the inner corner on the bottom lash I just love the highlight it's gonna bring um, then I was like okay I need a bit of magic under my eyes, so I'm working with this almost glitter eyeshadow and applying it on the outside corner and on the bottom lash line to bring this little sparkle touch. Usually when I apply gloss, I only only apply it on the mobile part of the eyelid, like I'm not going to put it on the bone um, because it's very hard to blend well and to apply very well. So I rather focus on the zone of the eye that is moving around because I found it's like much easier because you can see less uh, the perfection of the application. I don't, know if that, <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense today, you know, after having a baby I lost a few neurons, did you say that in English? I lost a part of my brain. <laughs> anyway, I'm really really excited uh, about this look. I hope you guys are gonna like it too. When you do like a look like this with like wet texture on your eyes, I love to have an outfit that's gonna be super effortless like a white jacket with this little like silk top that is light and easy no prints no dark colors like just the blue jeans something that makes everything else very easy and very luminous